Jim Clyburn, that South Carolina congressman, said something very interesting. Jim Clyburn, again, it's important to say just how important Jim Clyburn is to this. Jim Clyburn said he would support Vice President Kamala Harris at the top of the ticket if President Biden, quote, ain't there. Now, why would he be saying that at all, you might be asking? Well, of course, Democrats are in a tizzy. They're in panic mode, in fact. They're not in a tizzy. They're in panic mode after the debate. Uh, President Biden had a terrible showing. Uh, other information has come out since. You, you have uh, people, investigative reporters, you have Biden administration insiders saying, look, he has some slippage. He shows moments of weakness. Now, he looks great in national press brief, uh, national press briefings. Uh, national security briefings, excuse me. He looks great in lots of places. I'm not saying that he's weakened at Bernie's over here, but there are many people who have deep skepticism about President Biden's fitness for office. There are reports saying that even President Obama, former President Obama, has some concerns, if not about Biden's mental fitness, certainly about his ability to win this election. It's a long, grueling process, and he's not sure he's up for it. So lots of people are starting to weigh in about whether Biden can do this. And let's be clear, Jim Clyburn didn't say Biden can't do this. Jim Clyburn has effectively said something different. Jim Clyburn has said that the party should, should quote, stay the course, that the Democrats should stay with Biden. He said, but, but, but if you don't stay the course, if things go sideways, he's going to back Kamala Harris. Now, this may seem like much ado about nothing. And if you read this in the most literal sense, it will feel like much ado about nothing. You're going to say, well, what are you talking about, Mark? Jim Carburn simply said that he supports the Biden-Harris ticket. He simply says that he's going to support the Biden-Harris ticket no matter what. He simply said that Biden should keep going. But just in case they don't, you go with Harris. When in history have you seen a major member of the incumbent president's party say, yeah, I want this person to stay president and I want this person to keep campaigning and I don't want them to drop out. But if they do, let me tell you who I want to replace them. You don't do that. Right. You don't say, hey, yeah, I would never divorce you, baby. But if I did, here's who I might want to date. Don't do that. Don't do that, brothers and sisters. Don't do that. That will make your night, your life, your week, your month, the, your year, the rest of your days not so good. You can't say, I don't want any change, but if you do change. Jim Clyburn is a political veteran. He is doing this for a reason. He is doing this for a reason. What's the reason? He has remained loyal to Biden. That's where he's buttered his bread. That's where he has made his political bones. That is, in recent times, I'm saying, not in general. Jim Clyburn is self-made. He certainly made on, with, in coalition with black folk, not with Joe Biden, right? But in this moment, Clyburn is close to Biden, and he doesn't want to disrupt that, and he certainly doesn't want to undermine a campaign, because if you just keep saying, Biden, get out of here, and Biden ain't going nowhere, all you do is make him look weak. All you do is make him look bad to potential voters, certainly swing voters. So Clyburn don't want to do none of that. He doesn't want to be disloyal to Biden. He doesn't want to make Trump president. I get it. So why then say anything? Well, because he knows that something is imminent. Now, it might not be a withdrawal from the race. It might not be an exit. But there will at least be a significant push from within the party for that thing. And what Clyburn is trying to do is lay out the territory right now so there won't be a coup. Let me put it differently. There are people who have already decided Biden ain't going to make it out of this thing. And they're trying to fight for position there. They want Shapiro in there. They want Newsom in there. They want so-and-so in there. And so it's important for Clyburn to make clear. And I've been telling y'all this for weeks. Y'all didn't believe me. Just look at the last few days on this show. I've talked about this. There's going to be a push for Kamala Harris to be next up. And it makes sense. But there are going to be people out there ambitious people out there who are going to say Kamala Harris isn't polling well, she didn't poll well in the, in the primary when she ran against Joe Biden. 
that, that, that there's no path to victory for Kamala Harris. And therefore, we should already be looking to Kentucky. We should already be looking to California. We should already be looking to Pennsylvania. We should be looking to these states for leaders. We have to. Or maybe you, you or maybe you just if it was like an episode of scandal, we'd pull in we pulling Hillary Clinton already. But the idea here is we got to do something. And so people are already playing chess here. They're saying, well, if Kamala's the heir apparent, then we bring this person in, we bring that person in. And the Kamala backers, people like Jim Clyburn, are saying, all right, if we if we if we replace Biden, y'all, some of y'all pushing to replace Biden because y'all want to be in the mix. Please let's be clear. My support will be for Kamala Harris, not for anybody else. Now, you may say, well, Jim Clyburn ain't that powerful. As Jim Clyburn goes, South Carolina goes. As South Carolina goes, the black vote in the South just might go. So Jim Clyburn is already engaged in a war for the presidency on behalf of Kamala Harris. Now, Jim Clyburn don't waste words and he don't waste time. So the fact that Clyburn is doing this tells you that there is something going on. There's something afoot. There is somebody out there right now pushing hard for Biden to go. And despite the fact that Biden's family is saying they don't want to go, despite the fact that Biden's family has not accepted that he's part of the problem, that it's not just poor handlers and poor debate prep and, and, and poor questions from CNN, all that might be true. But it damn sure is that Joe Biden wasn't ready for that debate. Not because he doesn't know the information, but because maybe he wasn't cognitively ready, maybe because he wasn't physically ready. I don't know. He was under the weather with the cold. I don't know why, but we know that the last week has been terrible for the Biden candidacy, for the Biden presidency, for the Biden campaign. And because we know that, the sharks are circling, yo. The sharks are circling. And if the sharks circle, please understand Kamala Harris is not new to this. This is not her first rodeo. She's already secured Jim Clyburn's endorsement and support. That's not a small thing and that's not a coincidence. So I say all that to say, we are about to get into, we are about to engage, we are about to witness one of the craziest political summers in the history of this nation anyway we'll be right back with more night school i got a couple things i got to get off my chest man a couple things that got me thinking a couple things that got me frustrated i'll tell you all about it on the other side stay right welcome back to night school it is a wonderful night here. I'm so glad to see so many of you live with me. You know, when we do it on time, which we do every night except tonight, I get about the same number of people as I have right now. So I'm glad to see all my old friends and some new friends here on the Night School channel. Make sure as you're sitting here on Night School that you also weigh into the conversation. Let me know in the chat, would a Kamala Harris presidency make you excited to vote? Or would you prefer a different candidate? to take the top spot on the ballot. Again, would a Kamala Harris presidency make you excited to vote? If so, let me know in the chat. If not, let me know in the chat. And if there's somebody else you want, let me know, but be reasonable, y'all. Don't say nothing crazy. Don't say like Kanye West. You know, Say somebody who's a Democrat and say somebody who can win or say somebody um, who's independent, who can caucus with the Democrats. I'm not telling you you have to vote Democrat. I'm simply saying, if we're talking about replacing Biden, you're talking about replacing him probably with somebody in his own party. Seems 